wholly under eye circles. Are you sick? Are you dehydrated? Did you not get enough sleep? Yeah, all of those are reasons why we have dark under eye circles and sometimes it's just genetics, but I'm gonna show you how I cover mine up. So using my Graftobian Makeup Color Wheel Concealer, I use this orange salmon shade because the first thing that we have to do is cover up the actual shadows or darkness that we have going on. The orange is going to neutralize any blue and this Erase Paste by Benefit is a great alternative if you don't have the Graftobian. And also NYX makes an orange salmon concealer as well. If you have more purple or red undertones in your skin, then you would use the yellow concealer and that will help neutralize those shades. Then I'm going in with my Holy Grail Concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear, and I'm actually mixing two. You want to use a concealer that is at least one shade lighter than your skin tone, and I'm mixing the shade NW15 with the shade NC20 to get my perfect shade. And then I'm using my Morphe G2 brush to just pounce that into the skin. I really wanna work that into the skin and not swipe it and move the product around. And you can see here, before I even set it with any powder, what a difference it makes. A lot of times what we will do is we'll conceal our under eye and we will still have those bluish or purple undertones showing through or as our concealer starts to fade throughout the day those colors will start coming through. When you use the salmon color concealer or the color corrector concealer it's going to prevent those colors from showing through. Then I had a little bit of leftover concealer, so I'm using that to just highlight some of the high points of my face. And normally I would do my concealer and highlighting after my foundation, but for the sake of this video, I wanted you guys to see the full effect of the under eye circles, so I did my foundation after I did my concealer. So I'm just using the L'Oreal Luminous Foundation. This is in the shade W4, and I'm just using that to just kind of even out my skin tone a little bit. And now it's time to actually set the under eye concealer. I cannot go without setting my foundation or concealer because it will crease and move all around. So I'm going in with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder. This is in the shade Cameo. And what I like to do is just use a beauty blender or a little sponge applicator. And I place that everywhere that I actually put concealer. And this is going to help give you more of a highlighted effect and it's really going to set everything in place. Then going in with this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, I'm just setting the rest of my foundation so that that does not move. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face makeup. That way you can see the final result. And here it is. This is the final result. The under eye circles or bags or dark circles are completely covered. And I absolutely love the finished result. This is what I do on a daily basis to try to cover up those under eye circles. I hope you guys found this helpful and that you learned something new. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.